vaginal tract. A mom is someone that can go through nine months and push and the baby is born. Right. But a mother and a father is not two bodies that came together that produced the physical offspring. It's two minds that can come together to teach that baby how to successfully navigate in the world that they brought them into. In fact, you're not a real father if your child is less than you. In fact, you're not a real mother or father if your child is equal to you. The word father and the word farther have the same Latin root. The job of a mother and a father, a real mother and father, is not to make the children like them, but to make the children better than them. Our job is to help them to go farther than we ever went. You know for sure we don't know the science of warfare. If we knew the science of warfare, then we wouldn't be videotaping black women. And Waffle House Come on. Right, right, right. Come on, sir. being manhandled yes, by white sir. boys exposing their, their, their yes. body parts yes, sir. to the world. Yes, sir. World. And I seen on the tape, whenever the white officer confronted our sister, she made a statement. He he the police said to somebody in the background, they said, they said, look, and hey, you stand back. Mm -hmm. And then she said unto the officer, he's with us. Mm -hmm. And as you look later on when they show the pan out video, come to find out it was a black man standing there. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Now let me say something to you, black man. Yes, sir. A badge and a gun mm -hmm. does not deactivate right. your God-given responsibility right. and your divine mandate to respect right. and protect your woman. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Teach Muhammad, teach. Teach Muhammad. Yes, sir. That's yes, right. Sir. Go ahead. If you are a real man, yes, sir. a real man don't videotape. Come on. Right. Teach Muhammad. A real man flip that camera around on selfie mode. Come on. And make a video for his mama, right. for his wife, yes, for his sir. children. Right. Right. And say his mama, you may not see your son yes. again. Honey, you may not see your husband again. That's son right. and daughter, you may not ever see me again. Because yeah. I'll be damned if I'm going to this crap. That's yes, sir. disrespect my sister. Yeah. And you get in where you fit. Yeah. Yeah. And you feel yeah. behind yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Of being a provider, protector, yeah. and defender of your race. Yes, sir. That's what me and do. That's right. All day long. And if you're too scared to do it, then you just stand by on the other side. Yes. Right. But a coward dies a thousand days. Hmm. Right. Teach Muhammad. And a soldier dies but one. Hmm. Right. You see, it's better to die on your feet than it is to live on your knees. Well, that's right. right. Teach me. And if you and I don't see that this black woman is more valuable than the rims on our car. Yes, sir. More valuable than the tennis shoes on our feet. Yes, sir. More valuable than the money in our pocket. Yes, sir. More valuable than the color we claim or the set we come from. Come on. See, if you will kill and you will die for a color, for a come set, on. for a block, for dope, for rims, for come jewelry, on. for tennis shoes, you, die, you kill for this black woman. Go ahead. That's right. Okay, let's go back to black, black on. And yes, it is black love. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Real yes, sir. Real love. Yes, sir. That's how to Come on. All right, let me go back to the relationship love. <laughs> Some of the brothers that got skinned. <laughs> get up and go to the restroom. We ain't gonna see them no more. <laughs> Don't cut and run. Stay and get strong. Yes, Come sir. On. Fearlessness is not rooted in macho-ness. Right. Right. Did y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes, yes sir. sir. Two things can't occupy the same space uh -huh. at the same time. Yes, sir. So if you are faithful, you are full of faith. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, sir. And since fear is the opposite of faith, if you're full of faith, mm -hmm. then fear cannot occupy that space. Right. Right. So what makes you 
fear less black man is not bench pressing 350. See? Come on. Not deadlifting 500 or squatting 480. That's right. What makes you fear less is not a desert eagle. Yes, sir. No, it's not. It's not an AK. It's not an SK. It's mm. not a gun you can put in your hand. Mm. It's faith that you can put in your mind and in your heart that you are doing the will of God by being a protector of your community. Mm. Yes, yes, sir. And it's better for a man to be chastised by the police, yes, but earn the favor of God, yes, right. than to earn the favor of the police and get the chastisement of God. Yes, sir. Oh, I'd much rather put my life in the hands of God. And, and uh, you say, well, how do I do it? Before you get in to handle the business, yes. say these words, Allah who act by Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Allah who act by What does it mean? It means God is the greatest. Yes, sir. Yes. Whenever you say God is the greatest, Allah, you'll find that he will send to you. Yes. The Quran gives him two categories of groups he sends. Mm. Yes, sir. Third chapter, around the 123rd verse, it says that if you are, are, Come on. are in a fight and, and they attack you, Allah will assist you with 3,000 angels. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. right? He said, but if they come upon you in a headlong manner, hey. and you are of the steadfast, he's not going to give you 3,000 regular angels. angels. He said, I will bless you with 5,000 habit-making angels. Ooh. Yes, sir. I, I, I don't know about that. I know you ain't supposed to have it, but that's my favorite verse. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Because, because when I grew up in the street, you had two types of friends. Right. Yeah. Okay. Teach you had some friends that you had to explain everything. Come to. on. Come on regular friends. You okay? And then you had the other friends. We called them ride or die. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, the regular friends, if you got into a situation, you had to come and explain yes. all the yes, mitigating yes. circumstances. Yes, yes, yes. Is that right? Oh, yes, yes, sir. But there was another group of people that you could just pull up on and whatever on. they were doing. Oh, you could just say, hey. Okay. Got a situation, man. Come on. Get, get them tools and jump in. Okay. Yes, sir. And they already knew they were like, sweet. Okay. Come on out. Get ready. Come on in and handle the bit. Yes, sir. Sure. Havoc making Negro. <laughs> so Havoc making Angel. Yes, sir. Is a divine, pure, holy version. Absolutely. That's the kind of help you'll get. Yes, sir. It don't mean no ghost is going to come down right. behind you. Right. But it means that when you grab, you grab with the force yes. of 5,000. Yes, sir. When you punch, you punch with the strike of 5,000. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're doing, you, are, you have become super. Mm -hmm. Does this make sense? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah, you've activated your superpower. Yes, sir. Come on now. Iron Man Muhammad. Mm. <laughs> you know we never learned the science of finance because we wouldn't be bringing in 1.1 to 1.3 trillion dollars into our hands as a black community in America for the last three years straight mm. making us 400 billion dollars richer than Spain 500 billion dollars richer than Mexico do y'all hear me? Yes, sir. On a scale of 200 nations in the earth, the black man and woman of America are the eighth richest nation on the planet. Mm -hmm. right. We got $400 billion more than Spain with the exact same population as Spain. Oh. Yes, Spain can take care of 47 million Spaniards with their own streets, their own roads, their own educational oh, system, good. their own system of trade and commerce, Pretty their own good. land mass. They are managing a yes, 208,000 square mile land mass, mm. an independent nation of their own with $400 billion less than us with the same amount of people we have. Mm. Yes, wow. Well, if we got $400 billion more with the same population that they have, we should be able to maintain ourselves. But we got dollars. Yes, sir. But not enough sense. Yes, right. We blame the white man for 95% of our yeah. problems and still spend 97% yeah. of our money with him. Mm -hmm. We lead in unnecessary spending. Yes, we buy stuff we don't need. Come on. With money that we don't have. From people that we don't like. Right. To impress people that we don't even know. Yeah. That's right. unnecessary spending. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Science of making, we never learn. But you remember the man named Willie Lynch? Yes, yes sir. Teach Muhammad. He said he's outlined a number of differences among the slaves. Come on now. Look at what he said. All I do is I make them bigger than what they really are. Mm -hmm. 
In other words, I take all of the natural things that black people have different with one another and I turn them into unnatural divisions. If you're light skinned, I make you at odds with dark skinned people. Mm -hmm. If you're dark skinned, I put you at odds with the light skinned. Tall is against the short, male against the female, female against the male. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. And they said that whenever you put the male against the female and the female against the male, Willie Lynch said that by putting the male against the female, female against the male, best way to do that is by role reversal. Teach, behind the teach. Mm -hmm. Give her a job, give her income, right. give her access, yes. but deny him. Yes. And when she becomes the breadwinner where your job is maintain and protect her and provide her. Then when you can't get employment whenever you can't be a man, but she can be, I've turned you upside down and inside out. Mm -hmm. So we live in a world of gender blending and gender bending. Mm -hmm. They're not just doing it through chemtrails and genetically modified organisms. Mm -hmm. They're not just doing it with the weaponization of marijuana or heroin. But they're doing it with the social economic system of the United States of America through social engineering. Yeah. Right. Give you a job and make you a slave. Mm -hmm. Right. Let her work and you stay home. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. And it says, Willie Lynch said, the minute that you make the woman a better man, then the man is a man. Teach mm -hmm. Mohammed, mm -hmm. go you ahead. Don't help the man nor help the woman because you put the woman, the black woman, into what he called a frozen psychological oh, state man. of independence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where she believes she don't even need no man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't need that man. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Next thing you know, Willie Lynch says she'll be. Saying what's love got to do with it? Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, that worked. That's Tina Turner. Excuse me. <laughs> what's love? But it said, 16 years with Ike, she gave up. <laughs> but we don't even know what love is. Right. We we have love all the way mystified. Mm -hmm. yes. You listen to the music today. They, Beyonce said she talked about something called drunken love. Mm -hmm. That's an oxymoron. Yeah. <laughs> You know the oxymoron, yeah. Yes, sir. When you put two words together that are opposite of me, yeah. but you try to describe one thing, yeah. like a healthy fat baby. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oxymoron, a good devil. Right. How you gonna be good and a devil too? Right. Huh? Oxymoron is like it's ordering like it's order a ham sandwich on wheat bread. <laughs> That's oxymoron. <laughs> that makes sense. No sense in getting a Big Mac and a, and a, and a large fry and then following up with a Diet Coke. What the hell? That's <laughs> you, you, you can't buy raw milk straight from the cow and then pour it over top of Captain Crunch. That's <laughs> not <laughs> Wake up! You teach it. Y'all all right? You want a few more? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got a few more, but I don't think <laughs> So, by putting the woman into the frozen psychological independence state where she thinks that she does not need a man anymore, it breaks up the relationships. Mm -hmm. But in 1798, there's a man named Napoleon who was hired by the English government to go into Africa and destroy all of the images of black excellence. Yes, That's what we would call it today. Yes, or black power as we would call it today. Yes. So he went in and to all the temples, destroyed all of the original images of the messengers and the prophets, original images of Jesus. Which by the way, all of them look like you. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Almost every messenger and prophet that has lived was of the original family. Mm -hmm. A few weren't, but most of them were. Mm -hmm. Abraham was a black man. Mm -hmm. That's why when he went to Egypt that they thought he was an Egyptian. Mm -hmm. Egypt is in Africa. That's a black nation. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. He's black. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, sir. It says in the Bible, Moses stuck his hand into the bosom of the Lord, and when he took it out, it was turned white. white. Well, if it was turned white, it must have went in black. Mm -hmm. yeah. Job said, my skin is black. Mm -hmm. yeah. Solomon, who's called the wisest man of the Old Testament, said from his own mouth, I am black. Yes, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Well, wait a minute. If Solomon was the son of David, 
Solomon was the seed of David. Didn't Jesus say on the last page of the Bible in red writing that I am of the root and the offspring of David? But if you are of the seed of David and Solomon was of the seed of David, if Solomon was black seed of David and Jesus is also seed of David, what is Jesus? Black. He's black too. So the Bible says he had the complexion like that of an olive or sword and stone. Sword and stones are black or brown and olives are either green, purple or black and we know he wasn't green or purple. <laughs> the Bible says in Revelation Jesus had hair like lamb's wool and feet like brass that had been burned in an oven. You burn brass, that's going to be black. Lamb's wool is nappy hair. Is that right? Whenever they hear Jesus, they hear him in Egypt. Mm -hmm. The word Egypt in Greek is Iaptus, means land of black and burnt skinned people. So, so Egypt is a land dominated by black people. Yeah. Well, another right. word for high is camouflage. Right. When you camouflage, you blend in with the color of the right. environment. Right. So if Jesus is hiding in Egypt and it's all black, he's camouflaged among them. Yeah. In the army, when they go into the desert, they wear beige because it looks like the sand. Mm -hmm. When they're in the jungle, they wear green fatigues because it blends in with the environment. When they're on the night mission, they wear black. When they're in the snow, they wear white for teens. Because it blends in with the color of the environment. It's the way of hiding or camouflage. Yes. Well, if Jesus was camouflaged mm -hmm. or hiding among the land of black and burnt skinned people and he didn't get caught, huh. okay. he must have been black and burnt skinned too. Yes. Yes. This is true. So Napoleon got rid of all of those images. That's right. But on the great pyramid Giza, which is 451 feet tall, 451 feet deep, it covers 13 and a half acres of land mm. made of one million three and a half tons of blocks of gold, marble, and granite stacked mathematically precise east to west, north to south, down in the earth, up into the sky, not even deviating one square inch. And we built it without Caterpillar or John Deere. Mm. Mm. We built it without a bulldozer or a crane. We used the power of mind over matter mm. to manipulate stone by the use of thought moving at 24 billion miles per second on average. Mm. Mm. To make them land where we wanted them to land. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And on that pyramid is the history of the whole world. Oh. And do you know, every time you see one of the great gods that they say of Egypt, mm -hmm. whether it was Osiris, mm -hmm. whether it was Osa or Alaphon, mm -hmm. you will see next to each one of these gods of Egypt that looks like somebody's been scraping. Mm -hmm. Next to their bodies. Come to find out, Napoleon sent his soldiers in See. to destroy the image that of black power that the gods of Egypt were trying to show us. Originally, before they scratched it, next to Osiris was his queen Isis. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Next to Alaphun was Ilada. Mm -hmm. Next to Osa was Aset. What was our ancestors trying to tell us? Yes. That beside every strong black Come man on. has always been and will always be yes. a strong black woman. Teach my that's, that's, right. right. that's right. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. Always. Hey, no mistake. A few things to notice. Number one. Beautiful job. There wasn't no boyfriend and girlfriend. Come on, why now? There were husbands and wives. That's Say right, that. that's right. Say that, sir. Did y'all hear me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Another thing to notice, that every woman next to a black man was a black woman. Becky was not there. Right. Come on. Did, did y'all hear me? Yes, sir. I'm trying to put a proposal together right now for the new ICD-96 books that diagnoses symptoms and diseases. I have a new disease I'd like to propose to the medical industry. I don't know if they'll accept it or not. It's a disease that, I, that I've noticed that I've given a label to. I hope they will accept it. It's called Beckery. <laughs> Beckery. You know who Becky with the good hair was, right? right. In the song that Beyonce sang. Yes, sir. Lemonade. Mm -hmm. Beckery. Beckery is the psychological and the emotional castration of a black man mm -hmm. that is the product of a long-term relationship with a white girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. I thought y'all was going to clap for that. So <laughs> Wait for the rest. <laughs> Just think about this for a second. Yes, sir. There are more black males 
most born than there are black females. Right. Mm -hmm. But by the time that you reach the age 18, black females outnumber black males seven to one. Wow. Mm -hmm. Which means the black man is dying at the rate of an endangered species. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did, did you hear me? Yes, yes, sir. Now, one out of, now you got seven to one already, bad ratio for mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Then one out of nine of all of those men that are available are homosexual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you, when you factor in prison mm -hmm. and drug addiction, mm -hmm. it puts it on a on an average of about thirty five women for every one eligible good black man. Mm -hmm. So if a black man is lost to homosexuality, mm -hmm. lost to prison. Lost to homicide, lost to suicide, or lost to Becky. Mm. <laughs> a loss is a loss. <laughs> uh, we look, sis, you we cannot take no more L's. No, 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 no more L's. T, behind it, T. So do y'all want to try it again? Because it yes. has a ricochet effect. Come on, T. You might encourage the black man. Yeah. Come on, sir. Do it, do it one more time. We got it. <laughs> Beckery yes, sir. is the psychological and emotional castration yes. of a black man that's connected to a long-term relationship with a white woman. That's yes. right. That's right. Yes. Get a black woman. Yes. 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 That's right. Hey, get a black woman. That's Okay. You might be able to cure this disease even if they don't even put it in the book. Okay. <laughs> Not only if you don't believe in the scriptures that deal with the separation of the children of Israel from marrying into Egypt's people, whether you accept that Samson and Delilah is not a story of two individuals that lived 4,000 years ago, but it's really a white woman that was a Philistine mm -hmm. and a black man named Samson that, that lost what? Yes, yeah. Lost his power from mm -hmm. being with a white girl. Mm -hmm. Delilah was a Philistine woman. She was a white woman. Mm -hmm. yes, Samson was a black man. He had locks. Mm -hmm. Arrest my case. Yes. Yes. None of the armies could ever defeat Samson. Mm -hmm. They sent in their best soldiers, their best warriors, and even their best groups of soldiers and warriors. And individuals, generals, or groups couldn't defeat this black man. Mm -hmm. He was so strong to say he could push down temple walls with his arms. Mm -hmm. But the last trick of the white man is the white one. I mean, the, the Philistine. Delilah showed up. <laughs> and when Delilah showed up in the book of Samuel, it says that Delilah, that she slumbered with Samson. We know what that means. When we say somebody slept with somebody, we don't mean that they cut it up on a cot. You know what slumbered means. And while he was asleep, she found the Secret to his strength. Mm -hmm. In his locks, and she removed his locks while she was asleep. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, like I know that hairstyles do not give us strength. Right. Mm -hmm. If they did, by now we would have the most intelligent women on earth. Mm -hmm. With all this 28-inch Brazilian wave that has been put in. Now, come on now. You hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I see plenty of brothers with dreadlocks with white girls. Come on. Mm -hmm. The great artist CeeLo said whenever he was the great conscious version of himself, he said on one of his, his old albums from the Goody Mob, he said, look, he, he said, e -e every nigga with gold teeth ain't for the fall. Oh, and, they, and every nigga with dreads ain't for the cause. Oh, Hairstyles don't mean nothing. It's not what's on the outside of the head that gives a man or a woman strength. It's what you have on the inside of your head that gives you strength. Says in the book of Sam, Sam, Samuel that while Samson slept, Delilah had showed up, slumbered with him, and when they woke up the next morning, Delilah gave Samson her credit card, <laughs> keys to her Ford Focus. <laughs> told her he told him he didn't have to go to work no more. <laughs> This is, this is the LeBron James. Show. All right. <laughs> but y'all understand. Yes, sir. I've never seen a real strong black man with a white woman. Never. No. Come on. Never. Yes, sir. Have you? No, sir. I've come to the non scientific conclusion 
<laughs> that white women are gateway drugs. <laughs> you know what a gateway drug is. Yeah. Yeah. It is a lesser evil that ultimately leads you to a greater evil. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, yes sir. sir. So if you smoke cigarettes, it's a strong possibility that one day you'll want to graduate from nicotine into smoking something a little strong. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Gateway drug is what they call cigarettes and alcohol. White women are a gateway drug. Mm -hmm. They are a gateway drug to homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Every black man that you know that is with a white woman, sisters, you know, you can spot them from a mile away. Yes. 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 You can tell when a black man has been interacting too much with white girls because he's a little soft. Yeah. Yeah. He's a little punctified. Yeah. So I have quite the general traditional expression of a lion that a man's supposed to have. He don't roar no more. Huh? He don't walk strong no more. Teach Muhammad. He's a little mushy. Yeah. Am I telling the truth? Yes. Yeah. So brothers, if you were a white girl, get out now. important institution that we have. That's right. Yourself, you can't be with a white woman and you can't be with a white man. We must be with each other. That's, That's right. right. Now, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, in breaking down once the verse in the Quran that says this the male is not like the female. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Though that you know what that means? Mm -hmm. What motivates a man may not be what motivates a woman. Yes, sir. The way you win a man's heart is not the same formula that you employ mm -hmm. to win a woman's heart. That's yes. right. The way you love a black woman That's right. is a little different in the way that you got to love a black Come man. On. Yes, sir. So in this case, you cannot treat your queen the way you want to be treated because she speaks a different love. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot treat this man the way you want to be treated because he, he speaks a totally different love. Right. That's true. We are taught in our supreme wisdom lessons from Master Go ahead. Muhammad P, that you must speak clearly the language of the people. black man. Go ahead. And if you do not speak clearly the language of the people, if you do not speak well, you will not be successful. That's right. That's well, right. She knows all about you. All about you. You got to know how to speak the love language yeah. of a black woman if you want to win her heart. Yes, sir. And you have to know how to speak the love language of the black man if you want to win his heart. Yes, sir. And when a man is won his woman's heart and a woman has won her man's heart. There's no longer a competition with one another Come to on. see who's the best and who's the that's right. most and who knows it, right. who's the that's most right. Right. It is a concerted yes, effort. That's yes. right. It Come is on. teamwork. Yes, Lord. Yes. It is becoming one yes, flesh Lord. where the two are together working as one agency Teach. of the supreme being Teach. to build the kingdom of God. Yes, that's sir. right. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, he showed us a verse in Surah 5, verse, I mean, Ephesians 5, verse 33. Listen to what it says. Two different languages that the black man and woman speak. Each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself. And the wife must respect her husband. Did anybody catch that? Yes, sir. Did you notice when the God is talking to the man? See, see, these are gender specific commands yeah. that come straight from the mind of God to us. Yes, sir. He's saying to the men, love your woman. Yes. But the God is saying to the women, respect your man. Yes, sir. That means that the language to win the woman's heart is love. Yes. But the language you use to win the man's heart this is, is respect. This is true. Beautiful. Love her. Beautiful. 
Respect him? Yes, yes sir. sir. If you try to love him like you want to be loved. Mm. You're not speaking the masculine language exactly. of his heart. That's That's right. Right. And if you try to respect her like you want to be respected. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Absolutely. Well, we said this in one town and they said, well, well what, what about Aretha Franklin? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. What did she sing? R-E-S-P-E-C-T. -E -E well, 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 she's a woman singing about respect. Yeah, but where did the song come from? Mm -hmm. Who wrote it first? Mm -hmm. Who sang it? Do you know Aretha Franklin re released Respect in 1967? Mm -hmm. But Otis Redding wrote the song and already had released it as a single in 1965? Mm -hmm. Wow. So the original song talking to the mate about respect, Otis Redding said, I made this song to my wife. Wow. Come on. Did right. you hear me? Wow. Come on, the teach. original song asking for respect was not a woman talking to a man. Yes. It was a man talking to a woman. Wow. Yes. Aretha Franklin had wrote her own song. Teach, right. teach. She would have said L-O-V-E. Yeah. Find out what it means to me. Yes. Suck it to you, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Men want honor. Right. Yes, yes. Men want true. respect. Yes, That's they right. do. They and do. women want love. Yes, love. sir. Yes, sir. Teach, teach, teach. Yes, we do, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Teach, teach, teach. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in 2012, <laughs> sisters. Yes, yes, sir. 2012, brothers. Yes, yes, sir. They went all over the world for several months interviewing women and asked them what they were looking for in men. Mm -hmm. And they came up with four or five basic things that they considered that they were looking for in what they called an ideal man. Mm. It looked different than what we think it would be. Because mm. mo most people think that as a man, you think that if I got some money, mm. some muscles, mm. and I know how to fix some stuff, I'm going to get me a good woman. Mm. And most women think that if I'm good in the bed, mm. uh, and I can cook, mm. uh, huh? And I keep a clean house, I'm going to keep my man. Mm -hmm. Husband and wife is much bigger than those. Big yes, sir. Absolutely. True. A man that thinks that all he is is a money, maintenance of homes, and muscle Come on. is limited to being a security guard. Mm. A handyman mm. and a human ATM machine. A woman that limits herself to being in good in the bed, mm. cooking and cleaning, mm. you've limited yourself now to you are a pleasure box, a maid, and a chef. Mm. Mm. You're much more than that. That's a wife and you much more. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. So when they studied women and got honest answers, Cash wasn't even mentioned. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say that cash mm -hmm. is important now. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Very important now. And money ain't everything, but it's right up there with oxygen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right up there. <laughs> it ain't everything. It ain't the main stat of life. It ain't points, but hell is rebound. What? Right. <laughs> Block shots or something. It's up there. Now. It's up there now. Right, right, Please right. Please ask 1019. Say, feast is made for laughter and wine maketh one merry, but money answers all things. Right, 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 right. right. Big, the Gospel of Big Mama, it writes in chapter 5, verse 6. <laughs> Gospel of Big Mama, chapter 5, verse 6 says, Romance without finance is a new thing. Yes. Okay. Okay. It might be important. Right, 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 right. But the Where women were looking for five basic things. They were looking for a man that will be, yeah, sisters, I want y'all to be ready. Okay, okay, okay. we're ready. They were looking for a man that will be loyal to her and her alone. Yes, yes sir. Yes. That would listen to her. Yes, sir. That would labor for her. Yes, sir. That would laugh with her. Yes, sir. That would love her. Yes, right. Teach. Go ahead, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. That's it, now. We said it. We're gonna add, we're gonna add another one to the to, to the issue 
that come from the mind of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. And that is not just loyalty, not just listen, not just labor, not just laugh, not just love, but the man got to be a learned man. That's yes, right. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, no sir. Man can look yes, up to sir. a dumb man. That's right. can never be a good husband. That's never. right, never. A man never. can be a supporter of a woman just with finance. It takes knowledge to support oh, her. Right. Right. Finance can keep her off physically, but knowledge can keep her off mentally and spiritually. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead. See, the woman want to know that she got somebody that lives with her that she can use as a good sound boat. Yes, yes. yes. She's thinking a thought. She can yes. bounce it off. Yes, the yes. She yes. got enough knowledge of scripture. Yes. Got yes. enough knowledge of science. Yes. Got enough knowledge of the empirical data of the world. Yes. 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 Come up with, honey, what you're saying is true, but I, but you should also think about this. Yes, 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 that's right, that's right. to hear from Brother Ali as he teaches Absolutely. he'll break down for you yes, the self creation of God mm -hmm. and how God created from himself his sex self Absolutely. called his woman yes, now keep in mind think about this if the God was self created and he became a man mm -hmm. and then he created from himself his second mm -hmm. self which was his woman Mm -hmm. Then the woman that he made was custom to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He made her to smell like he mm -hmm. wanted her to smell. Mm -hmm. He made her to look like he wanted her to look. Mm -hmm. He made her to feel like he wanted her to feel. Mm -hmm. So she is a tailor made object that gives peace and quiet and pleasure of mind and eye to her man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when a woman's body parts are described in the Quran, they call them the adornments. Mm -hmm. When the men's are described, they're just the exponents. Mm -hmm. Adornment means base word adore, meaning men adore women. Yes. So because man has created woman out of the imagination of his own mind, mm -hmm. she matches everything he's looking for, but the woman did not create the man out of her mind. Right. Yes, so he doesn't necessarily match everything she's looking for. Right. So there's a restaurant called Who? but not one called biceps. Yeah. <laughs> uh, men, men are more moved by women than women are by men. That's true. Okay, another question. That's true. Come on, you on it? So the black woman wants to know, in a behind everywhere world, <laughs> what? <laughs> loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Yes, yes, yes. Well, no, can you still maintain? Yes. Right. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. One of the simple acts that the women said that expressed loyalty was something very, 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 very small. And that was the wearing of a wedding band. That's right. Mm -hmm. Do you know that just the act of putting on the wedding band? Provides level of emotional mental security to your That's right. right. That's right. That's right. Does she know how women think? Mm -hmm. Right. Come on. We just got finished breaking it down. You got about 35 women for every one man. Right. 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 
That's right. And if I see you fast, crisp, and lean like that fire car, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yes, yes. Create a job for yourself. Right. Yes. Are y'all still all right? Yes, yes sir. Uh, whenever a man does not work hard, it sets him up for being disloyal to his woman. Mm. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said this. He said that giving women jobs and denying the black man a job does not make him more loyal to the woman that's taking care of him. In fact, it makes him less loyal. Mm. I said, wow. Mm. He said, see, because a man is by nature a provider. Mm. And if he comes home to an environment that he's not a producer and a provider, every time he comes home, the, the minister said, he's reminded of his impotence. Mm. He's reminded he's not producing. Y'all still all right? Yes, yes sir. So, 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 brothers, inside of man, there is a built-in self-validation system. Right. That we judge ourselves off of who we are, what we do, and how much we make doing it. Mm -hmm. Who we are, meaning what's our character like? Mm -hmm. Who are we when nobody else is looking? Mm -hmm. What's the real, genuine, authentic you? Are you a liar? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you tell the truth? You might trick mm-hmm. other people, but you can't trick yourself. Come on, T shirt. Do you have integrity? Do you mean what you say and say what you mean? Or do you dilly dally? Mm-hmm. Do you mm-hmm. politic? Mm-hmm. Do you brown no to you uh-huh. uh-huh. Oh, uh-huh. that's something that we only know about ourselves. Come right. on, come on, come on. Are we making excuses or are we giving legitimate reasons? Yes. Come on, come on. Mm-hmm. teach, teach, teach. Are we really working as hard as we say we're working or are we putting on a commercial for something? Teach, uh-huh. teach, teach. Are we the kind of man that gets satisfaction off of talking about? what I'm going to do? Come on. Or a man that has to actually achieve it before I get it. Yes, yes, yes. That's who you are. Yes, sir. What you do is what you do every day to earn a living and then how much you make, meaning the money that you make, what's the stat that's attached to what I'm doing? Yes. How effective am I at what I'm doing? Mm, 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 mm. You don't have that, you don't feel like a real man. Mm, mm, And a man that's not able to hunt in the world. Mm, Come on. mm, Conquer in the world of economics. Mm-hmm. Be a go-getter and a go-giver mm-hmm. in the real world. Mm-hmm. He begins to look for any woman that he can conquer. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. Come and the on. The next thing you know, a non-laboring man becomes a non-loyal man. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Because at a certain point, I got to feel like I'm somebody mm-hmm. somehow. Mm-hmm. Right. I got to be productive. Mm-hmm. I got to be a producer. Mm-hmm. I'm a hunter. Mm-hmm. I got to conquer. I can't conquer economics. I can't hunt down an idea, but damn it, I find me a woman that's loose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. Work for her and conquer her. Teach, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. sir. I feel like I'm somebody. Teach. Mm-hmm. Y'all still, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. So the woman wants a man that's loyal and would lay. Y'all still okay? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now the woman also wants a man that would love her. Yes. Love from a woman's perspective is simple according to these stats. Some of the simple things that a man can do to show love for his woman is tell her you love her. Yes. Did y'all hear that? Yes. That's a simple little act. Let her know how beautiful she is, how pretty she is. Observe and notice details about her. Yes, Come yes, on. yes. Compliment her when change is taking place. Yes, Come yes. On. You know she working hard trying to stay away from sugar. Come on. <laughs> she trying to keep from eating Come on. the chocolate she Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. The black woman, the black woman got an inappropriate relationship with chocolate. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is made up of of food from nature that produces the same chemicals in the brain that love does. Yes. Yes. Inside, inside of the cocoa is caffeine and fennel. Whenever you receive love, it's adrenaline and, yes. and, and it's a calming effect at the same time. Yes. It excites you and it calms you down. Yes. The sugar that's inside of the chocolate, it stimulates you. Love right. stimulates right. you. Yes. Right. Everything love does, chocolate does. Yes. Mm. So if your woman is strung out on chocolate, you got to give her some more love. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Go you got to be Mr. Good Boy. Come on. Come on. You might want to be payday too, though. Yeah. Mr. Good Bar broke. Uh-huh, she don't want none of that session chop. You want some spiritual chop. Okay. Yes, sir. Some money in the pocket. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. I'm going to stop. I love it. You got to pay a little attention. Notice whenever her nails are done, hair is done. No, see, you, you notice sisters are trying to lose weight. Right. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, yes sir. We are, too. Yes, sir. But if you got a your, your queen trying to lose weight, compliment her even if it's small progress. Yeah, right. Right. Let her know, baby, I see you now. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Go ahead, yeah, I know. You, and you're like, no, I, so I, haven't been, I haven't been doing I mean, I'm doing okay. I haven't did that much. Yeah, but I can tell. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's right. That's <laughs> right. So I can see a difference. Yeah. At least 10 or 15 Come ounces. on. Yes, go ahead. That's right. Yes, take that part. <laughs> 10 or 15 
thing that the women said that they thought would be a good way of expressing love to them. Public displays of affection. Uh, yes. 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 Now, yes. Now, now, I'm not talking about being a pervert like white people. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. You walk around every time you come around and talk about get a room. Okay. Right. We're not talking about the get a room conversation. Right, right. Come on, brother. No, but just do something as simple as hold the hand. Yes. yes. Do you know that holding a woman's hand mm -hmm. doesn't just say I love you, but it also says I like you. Mm -hmm. right. And it doesn't just say I love you and I like you, but it says I love you and I like you and I want everybody to know. Yes. yes. Do you know whenever you hold your woman's hand in front of everybody, you are sending a message to her that I love you and I like you and I'm so proud to be talking to everybody. Know that right. Right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. responsibilities. Wow. participated in, your ghetto past will be revoked. Okay. <laughs> number one, if you have not seen coming to America, you're not black. That's right, that's right. And number two, if you don't like Martin, you're not black. That's right, that's right. And number three, if you have not heard Friends at least four times, you're not black. That's right, that's right. Your ghetto past will be revoked. You've got to yes. yes. you got to participate. Yes. Laughter was the next thing. See, yeah. see, see do you know, brothers, mm. a sense of humor? Is a sign of a sense of security. Yes. Teach, teach. A woman wants to have confidence in her man. Yes. And the way that you show that she can have confidence in you is by showing her that you're personally secure. Yes. If I'm laughing, if I'm making jokes, I'm worried about nothing. Yes. I'm not afraid of the arrow that flies by day or the one that comes by night. Yes. Yes. It don't matter. I, 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 humor. Yes. Is a mark of security. That yes. Now, I will say this. There's a difference between a sense of humor and being a silly man or sarcasm. Mm -hmm. right. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Oh, I say this. Don't let yourself become so so humorous that you become nonchalant. Yes, right. yes, yes. When you become nonchalant, it'll have you cracking jokes at the wrong time. Right. Yes. You got to speak clearly the language. Right. Yes. 
Uh, she knows all about you. Right. Yeah. In certain times for jokes, and in certain times jokes should not be told. Right. right. You can't come home and all the lights is off. Right. 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 Okay. Right. Right. right, right. And you see everybody in, in, with, with winter coats on and candles. And yes. Like, yes. 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 <laughs> Ain't no time for you to come in and say, hey, something they go. Find the chicken across the road. Hell no, hell no, that shit won't go in where you go cross the road. You go there and pay that light bill. And for a certain time, jokes ain't good. That's right. But a sense of humor is a sign of a sense of security. Yes, Brothers and sisters, the longevity ingredient to relationship is friendship. Absolutely. If you're married and you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. That's right. You're supposed to be laughing with one That's another. Yes. A woman wants to know that you enjoy her company. That's so right. The only time she sees you cracking jokes and laughing is yes. when y'all around. Come on. People. Yes, yes. It means that other people make you happy. That's time. right. But if you all are all alone by nobody but just yourself, and yes. both are still smiling, oh laughing. She knows that she can That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's not least. Last but not least, you gotta be a learned man. That's right. A young man cannot maintain a woman. That's right. And if you and I, as men, will learn not just the empirical knowledge of the world. But have our mind rooted in spiritual knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. A woman does not want to know what they said on ESPN. Come on. Come on mm -mm -mm. Did you hear me? Yes, yes sir. You, you're not getting ready to solve her problem by giving her a basketball play analogy. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. See, honey, you know, when you got a situation like that, what you want to do is set up the 2-3 zone. Because <laughs> if you set up the 2-3 zone, it will deny, the, your, your, you know, the person you're having a conflict with won't be able to get off them long shots. They have to work their way down low. And then you got three people posted up. You see what I'm saying? She was like, no. I don't see what you're saying. <laughs> the universal language of all is revelation. Revelation. Yeah. Yeah. So whenever I, whenever you're dealing with as a man talking to your woman, she wants to know that you know how to say Surah five verse seven. Come on, yes, yes. 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 You know that I, I just read something yes. the other day, honey. Yes, yes. yes. Psalms one eighteen. Teach, teach, teach. She wants to know do you have spiritual. Come on. Yes, yes. And let me tell you something, brothers. If we become loyal, yes, laborers, yes, learn it, yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. Women that's right. solve problems by thinking it out. Yes. The male is not like the female. The right. female is not like the male. You don't care nothing about talking about nothing whenever you got a problem. Yes. But Come she on. cares about talking when yes. she has. That's it. right. That's, that's right. right. You're willing to listen and not just listen right. so that you can say that, that you know. Let me sit okay. here and nod my head. Come yes. on. Come back. Yes. Yes. To yes. Listen, to listen to somebody means that you are trying to put your feet in their shoes. Sure. That's, that's right. right. You're trying to understand. Yeah. Where you are coming from. Yes, yes. I'm going to ask questions yeah, so before teacher. I even mm -hmm. make a comment, I know exactly what you're coming from and what place you're speaking from. Right. And then I will say, well, honey, have you considered so far for so Right. And if that man will labor, will listen, will love, will laugh, will be loyal, and be a learned man, it's all about You're going to be a good black man. <laughs> yeah. Up, brother, I just want to leave with no love. Can I run through something real quick? Yeah. Yes, if the language of love of a man, according to the divine mandate from the mind of God, with this gender specific command we read from this Ephesians 5:33, is respect. Mm -hmm. If you take respect and turn it into an acronym, you'll be able to see, sisters, the exact formula of treatment of this man that you can win his home. Yes, sir. The first R in respect stands just for that respect. Yes, sir. Show honor and respect to the man. Yes, sir. Even if the man has not 
yet been the kind of man that you think that he could be, treat him and talk mm -hmm. to him like he already has arrived at his destination. Yes, sir. Pull on him, draw the best Absolute out of him, honor. remind him of his greatness, accentuate the positive. Yes, oh, yes. Show respect for that man. Yes. The scripture did not say that a man should love his wife as he loves himself if she respects him. Right. right. Nor did it say that a woman should respect her husband if he loves her. Right. Come on, there teach. There is no if. Your job is to respect him whether mm -hmm. he loves you like you need That's to be loved. Right. And yes. your job is to love her whether she respects you like you need to be loved. Good teaching, sir. Somebody got to be the bigger person yeah. in the relationship. Right. Right. And I'm telling you, sometimes it takes a man loving her to get respect for him. Yes. And sometimes it takes you respecting him to get love out of him. Right. That's right, you know teach. Because God says. That's, That's right. right, teach, so sir. Respect for that Man. Good the teaching. The next letter is the E. Esteem the man. Yeah. Self worth and self esteem are two different concepts. Mm -hmm. We always tell our children they need self uh, esteem, but the real thing they need is self worth. Self esteem is what you think about yourself based off of how other people see you. Mm -hmm. But self worth is what you think about yourself based off of the way God sees you and the way you see yourself. Mm -hmm. We need more self worth than we do self esteem. Right. Self esteem or to esteem a man means that you praise him, you compliment him, you acknowledge him, and you brag about him in front of other people. That's right. right. That's right. Right. Wow. wow. Did y'all hear that? Yes. You talk good about him in front of other people. Right. Yes. And yes. So if you want to be up, all the way up. All the way up. Yes, yes sir. sir. Well, nothing can stop you. Nothing yes. Can you. All, all the way up. up. Come on. Show him respect. Brag on him. Compliment him in front of not just people, but people he respects. That's right. right. Go ahead. I'm telling you. That's right. That's right. I'm telling you, you're going to have him now. That's right. You're right. going to have him. Yes, sir. Show him esteem. The S is broken down into several different categories. The first S word we like to use that's associated with this is to bless your man Bless his sight with your beauty. Beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. Keep yourself looking good. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. That's right. Did you hear me? Yes, yes, sir. Don't just look good in the public. Look good in the private That's for your man. Yes. That's right. right. If a man sees that you're willing to go through flips and jump through hoops to look good when you present yourself to the world, but you are not willing to do the same for him at the house, he's going to think that you like their attention more than you like his. Right. That's right. Go ahead, T. So show him you can be cute and comfortable at the same time. That's right. Go ahead. Don't allow yourself to always be. I'm not saying every time you come home that you got to be walking through the house with wedding gowns on. Right. <laughs> I'm kind of saying you got to be all made up and fixed up. In fact, the real truth about it is men don't even like makeup. Right. right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Is that exactly. the truth, brothers? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Me and like match for you? Yes, sir. We don't care nothing about all that. Yes, sir. I don't know what all the stuff is, but the, the shadow, the liner, <laughs> uh, the contour, <laughs> foundation. Did you know that that you do you do you it's called makeup, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's a makeup test? You failed at something, so you tried to do it again? Mm -hmm. So are you saying Allah made a mistake when he made you like he made you? Come on. God messed up? That you gotta fix me? Oh, okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. I might go throw some mascara at me. The way this suit is set up, mascara is not gonna agree. Yes, sir. But keep yourself looking good. Bless your man's sight. S. Y'all mm -hmm. still okay? Yes. yes, sir. The next S that we like to, to, to highlight is your speech. Y'all didn't hear me. Yes, okay. sir. Go ahead, sir. Brothers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Men do not like loud women. That's the truth. Men do not like cussing women. Yes, sir. Right. Men don't like to be in a cussing contest with his queen and lose. That's right. <laughs> uh, 
Are y'all hearing me? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actual fact. The two things that you can do that will make his sight even blessed doesn't have anything to do with just your form and your body. Now, there's a brother told me one time, he said, you know, sometimes, you know, black parenting skills are different, are unique. We do some crazy stuff. I mean, when I was coming up, I mean, everything was nigga this and nigga that. And it was all, everything was invalidation. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. You got dressed for the prom. I had to spend all this hard, hard on little money and cut all the crack out like this little tuxedo on. Cost me $98. Oh, uh huh. Let me see. Turn around. Oh, nigga, you think you cute now. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Come home on honor roll. Huh? Huh? Well, look. Tell me. Honor roll. Let me see. Honor roll. I'll be there. Five A's. Two B's and one C. That is honor roll. Nigga, you think you're smart, man. <laughs> One brother told me that his mother told him when he was growing up. He said, his mama came and told him, he said, look, let me, let me talk to you something, son. Look, you're not good looking. <laughs> well, that just, it just ain't what you've been dealt. You're not good looking. So since you're not good looking, boy, you got to stay looking good. <laughs> Right. Why you're in the process of becoming the good looking uh, that you can become. Right. right. Stay looking good. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. But the biggest thing more than dress that blesses that man, sight, is your smile mm-hmm. and your speech. Mm-hmm. Oh. In the book of First Peter 3 and 4 it says this, wives are to themselves with a gentle and quiet spirit. Mm-hmm. This is more valuable than clothes you can wear or any perfume that you can put on. Mm-hmm. A man wants to meet the opposite of himself. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If he's crazy, he needs you to be sane. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To calm the beast. Mm-hmm. If he's crazy and you crazy, y'all going to tear something up. Go oh, ahead, teach, teach, teach. You, no, you, the goal is the goal is Farrakhan and Khadijah, not Bonnie and Clyde. Right, right, right. Not the goal. Right, 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 the right. Goal. Y'all right? Yes, sir. Right. Teach, sir. If he hard, he needs you to be soft. Right. If he loud, he needs you to be quiet. Right. Yeah. Does this make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What well, he wants the opposite of himself. Mm-hmm. So that's the S. Oh, one other S. Sensual love. Mm-hmm. Men require more physical love yeah. than women. Yeah. You have to learn how to show more physical love or more sexual love. Right. Yes, Operative words. Mm-hmm. You say that hustler and penthouse is not good. Right. <laughs> good but good. Right. This for the science of the act. Study right. each other, not to get into freakishness or bestiality, right. but That's to right. be able to learn how to, in a moral and ethical way that does right. not dehumanize another person, mm-hmm. does right. not violate the laws of God, That's whilst right. I engage in pornographic uh, sodomist activity. Yeah. Teach, sir. Right. you hear me? Yes, yes sir. I don't, I don't need you to come to bed as somebody else. Right. 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 Okay. I said, accept your own and, and be yourself. So I don't need you to be no firefighter out there. Showing up in a school uniform and a cheerleader outfit. Wow. Come on. The question is, who normally wears school uniform and cheerleader outfit? Come on. Children? Yes. Yeah. So are you encouraging your man to be a pedophile? That's right. Oh, no. Teach. Oh, right. no. Show up as you. Yes, That's right. right. Yes, sir. Teach, sir. Y'all still okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Next point. R E S P P. Show that man that he's powerful. Every man wants to know that he has power and he has strength. 
Yes, yes. Compliment his physical strength. Compliment his mental strength. Compliment his moral strength. Yes. Yes. Compliment his ability to be patient, to have, to control his temper. Yes, to, when you see progress, show him that he's power. Yes, That's yes, right. Yes. The next E, what does that man eat? Feed your man good food. Yes, that's right. right. As a wife, your job is to be a scientist yes, of food. Yes, yes. Your right. job is to study that man that's right. and use your kitchen as a laboratory yes. to produce mess that's that right. will heal him from the wounds that he got from trying to survive in a white man's world. Yes, Don't you know that in the white man's world, this world is spiritually, diametrically, and economically diametrically opposed to the Black men be successful. Yes, so when a black man goes out to make money, that's not economics, that's warfare. Yes, sir. Right. Right. Yes, sir. So when he's out there, the white man loves telling black men no. Yes, right. sir. He loves making it hard for us to oh, get what's yes, easy yes. for others to get. Yes, we got to work twice as hard to get half. Yes, yes, true. We got to bust through all kind of stuff. Bust we got to negotiate. We got to do oh, extra follow-up. White man call one time, get everything he want. We got to call 10 times to get yeah. half of what that white man yeah. So when the black man goes out to make money in this world, he's going to come back with contusions yeah. right, and abrasions and lacerations, right. yes, injuries and wounds. Your job is to assess those yes. wounds. Yes, sir. Look at the laceration yes. and then get inside the kitchen. Yes, sir. And yes. the number one ingredient is not the navy bean, it's not the onion, it's not the garlic. Oh, yes. The number one ingredient that must be stirred into the pot of into the skin is love. Put right. love in that food. Right. Oh, praise God. of food. You are studying the man's job that he has. Yes, sir. If he has a job that has a whole lot of physical labor attached to it, how much protein? That's how right. How much amino acids? That's how right. How many carbohydrates? Right. How much fiber? Does this man need to be able to have at his disposable the adequate raw material? That's right. The next day he wakes up to be able to go out and do what he yes. needs to do. So your job is to say, I'm getting ready to put something in front of this man at 6 p.m. on Then when he wakes up at 6 a.m. on Wednesday, he will have at his disposal all of the ingredients he needs to go out and And the seed is show compassion to the man. Yes, sir. Sisters, men are more sensitive than they act like that. Yes, sir. We fake and tough. We act like don't nothing bother us. That's right. But you have to know that that black man has been trained to not ever show any feelings. Yes, but not showing them don't mean he don't have them. So you're passionate, you're looking beyond his passion, beyond the fault of not knowing how to express it, and you're starting to see his need. That's right. So you got to be able to read man's mind like a thermostat. Yeah. You gotta know what it means whenever his back is bent certain way, yeah. when he sits a certain way, whenever he's not nice talking to that You gotta be able to assess that and say, I ain't gotta ask you what's wrong and mm. talk to me, cause I know you ain't gonna talk. Yeah. Right. I already know what's wrong with you. Right. Yes, sir. And let me go ahead and start working up my formula That's to right. nurse you back in the shape. Come on, that's man. right. Y'all right? Yes, yes, sir. Last but not least is the T. Train your children to love their father. That's right. right. Yes, sir. Children do not spell love L O V E. Mm -hmm. Children spell love T I M E. Mm -hmm. yes. But if you got a man that's got a mission mm -hmm. to save his people mm -hmm. and also a goal in life to build an economic enterprise, mm -hmm. by the time you mix saving people to building a legacy for my family, that's a lot of time invested in a day. Mm -hmm. So when that man comes home, he hasn't been able to do all of the, the, the hopscotch and all of the jumping rope and all the throwing of the balls and all of the laughing and playing with his children that he'd like to be able to do, but you have been able to. But your job is to train the child, the child to know daddy's out there in the field grinding because he loves us as his family. So, so as soon as you hear the keys shaking, yes. all of y'all want y'all to run to the door. Clean up. Matter of fact, y'all, you know what time it is. Daddy get home. Your daddy gonna be home in about 20 minutes. Get home. Toys up, but everything up, and you make up. As soon as they hear the keys 
jingle, you you have that big, that broken black man that been beat down by the white man's world. Whenever he sees sons and daughters yelling, Daddy! That brother, that, that father looked down and said, Man, it's worth it. Respect that man following that acronym. And dear brothers, if you would follow that love pattern of being loyal, being learning, being a listener, laughter, loving, and Come on. loyal. Yes, sir. I think they will be able to convert our homes yes, into a spiritual recharge. Yes, but we can unplug from this no good wicked white man's yes, world Lord. and come home and plug into a pure source yes, of love that will give us both peace and power. Thank you for listening. I greet you in peace. I saw all they go. Thank you, sir. Oh, that went by. Thank you, sir. Praise you, to Allah. Everybody, all right? Yes, sir. Oh, praise you, to Allah. Thank you, thank you, thank praise you so much.